Hello and welcome to the day two of our prayer and fasting devotion. And the title of our devotion is about consecration. And the scripture is found in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And it says, I appeal to you, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by the testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. In the Old Testament, we can read how the Israelite people, or God's chosen nation, had been instructed on how to properly worship God. All must be consecrated and holy. So why would God ask so much from His people? Why would God require everything from the sacrificial animals to the used tools and equipment and to the ministers to be used solely for worship and sacrifice? Here's why. One of the attributes of God is holiness, found in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 14 to 16. His character is perfect in every way. His moral excellence is the absolute standard of integrity and ethical purity. God's supreme holiness infinitely sets him apart from his creation. And as he is holy, he calls us to be holy, to be consecrated and set apart for him. To be consecrated means that one must be having been made or declared sacred, or devoted, or dedicated. In marriage, for example, spouses may have their said their idols, but would act as single people nonetheless. It takes a conscious decision to remain faithful and devoted to their spouse every day for the rest of their lives. The same can be said with our life in Christ. When our Lord gave us a new life, we are then called to be devoted to Him every day. Rather than reflecting to the opinions and attributes of this sinful world, we are to reflect the beauty of His holiness in our daily lives. So just as Apostle Paul appealed to the believers in Rome, let us also present our lives as living sacrifices. Let us dedicate every aspect of our lives to God, used for His purpose and for the advancement of His kingdom. Amen. So let us pray that we will respond in consecrations to the knowledge that we are set apart for God's purpose. And let's also pray that we will be loyal and faithful to God, call upon our lives to the very end. Thank you.